the US President Joe Biden has called in an American news program to tell the public he will not be dropping out of the presidential campaign. Democrats are returning to Washington DC following the 4th of July, worried about the president's recent TV appearances. But Joe Biden insists he's not going anywhere. I wanted to make sure I was right, that the average voter out there still wanted Joe Biden. And I'm confident they do. We're not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. I wouldn't be running if I didn't absolutely believe that I am the best candidate to beat Donald Trump in 2024. James Matthews has more from Washington. Joe Biden channeling Donald Trump, calling in to his favorite TV cable news show. It was on MSNBC. Morning Joe, it's called. The hosts of that program are all pals of his. And suddenly from nowhere, they had him on the phone, lasted about 15 minutes. Uh, and the president, it has to be said, was in fighting form. It was early in the morning. He sounded more cogent and lucid, certainly, than he had done. Uh, in that debate against Donald Trump. And, you know, he railed against his critics. He laid out the case for him versus Donald Trump and made the very clear point that he was going nowhere. So he will be hoping clearly that uh, an interview like that and the fight back in general turns on its axis what is growing opposition to him. Right now, I'm in Capitol Hill, Mark, in this place, there are nine Democrats and counting who have come out publicly against him. This is day one back after the 4th of July holiday. The fear in Team Biden will be that opposition to him solidifies and amplifies as they get together and discuss their shared concerns. Joe Biden did something else, as well as the interview. He sent a letter today to Democrats, fellow Democrats, he said, and he laid out the case for sticking with them, essentially saying that, look, I'm the guy who is the nominee. I was voted as such by the party at large. For you now to ditch me is to deny, is to deny the democratic will of the party. Let me read you some of the letter he sent. This is Biden. He said to... Uh, his party. I want you to know that despite all the speculation in the press and elsewhere, I am firmly committed to staying in this race, to running this race to the end and to beating Donald Trump. I have heard the concerns, he says, that people have, their good faith fears and worries about what is at stake in this election. I am not blind to them. That's a letter from Joe Biden to Democrats at large, but specifically to Democrat representatives in this place. I've spoken to one of them uh, who wants Biden to stand down in the past hour, and their reaction to the interview and to the letter is that it changes nothing. They remain opposed, saying that they believe in the message. They just don't think that Biden is the messenger. And on the point about denying democracy by opposing him, this individual made the point that, well, yes, we backed Biden, but we also backed Kamala Harris as part of the ticket, the vice president, of course, who's hotly tipped as a ready replacement.